What if I told you that cooking with this oil is actually hurting you? For years, we've been told that saturated fats like butter, lard, and tallow are unhealthy, and that vegetable oils like corn oil and other seed oils are the better choice. But what if the main study used to prove this was missing important information? The story was called the Minnesota Coronary Experiment, one of the most well-run experiments ever done on diet and heart health. It was double-blinded and randomized control trial, meaning that neither the participants nor the researchers knew who was getting which diet. This ensured results weren't biased. And it wasn't a small study, folks. Over 9,000 people in mental hospitals and nursing homes were part of the experiment. And the goal? To see if replacing saturated fat with seed oils would lower heart disease and help people live longer. The results that were shared with the public said the following. Corn oil lowers cholesterol. Lower cholesterol reduces heart disease risk. And you and I, we've been hearing this all our lives. But because of this, people stopped cooking with butter, lard, and tallow and switched to vegetable oils instead. But there's a catch. Not all the data was shared. It wasn't until 2016, over 40 years later, that a researcher named Dr. Christopher Ramsden dug up the full results. And what he found was nuts. Lower cholesterol did not reduce heart disease deaths. In fact, people over 65 had a higher risk of dying when their cholesterol dropped. The full results were never published when the study was finished in the 1970s. Dr. Ramsden later said, there's no good evidence that reducing saturated fat makes you live longer. In fact, the best study we have suggests the opposite. By hiding the full results, health experts spent decades telling people to eat vegetable oils instead of saturated fats, even though the evidence was weak. So if cholesterol was never the enemy, why did we replace butter with oils in the first place?